Morning everybody, hope we're all fitting well, everyone's feeling uh, back to normal and uh, ready to go again. So fingers crossed Skype will play and uh, we'll all stay on screen. But let's get ourselves ready then. So we're standing tall, tummy's drawn in, feet set under your hips, hands down at your sides. And let's take those little balance movements. Just leaning forwards, we catch that weight on your toes. That's it, and then back to just before you think you're going to fall. That's it, a little step if you do think you're going to fall over. Just waking up those senses, getting that body ready to go. That's it, one more. And find that spot where you're nicely balanced. And we'll come on and we'll free up that lower back. So tilting that pelvis under. Hands either on the hips or one hand in front behind. Good. Tilting under. Looking for that neutral spine. Freeing up that lower back. That's it. Good. A few more times. That's it. One more. And then just find yourself that spot where your back feels nice and neutral, you feel nicely balanced. I'm going to get those feet moving. So I'm pressing that foot into the ground. Just let your arms join in naturally in that walking movement. That's it. So it's just a gentle swing of the arms from the shoulder. Keeping those feet pressing down into the ground. Good, a few more. Keeping those arms coming up now. Start to reach up to shoulder height. Good, now pressing one back. Other one's coming up nice and high. Start to reach up and above the head. And so really push those arms back, getting that good stretch around your chest and shoulders. Excellent, a few more. One more each way, and bringing it down. Excellent. So we're standing tall again, making sure those feet are set under the hips. We're just going to raise the arms, open wide, and down. Up, open, stretch that chest, and down. Do a few more. Bringing it up. Open, in, and down. Hold well on, keep that going. So gradually build. So one more, and then we're gonna add a reach over. So we're gonna open, gonna reach over the top, back, and down. Arm out to the side, stays at 90 degrees to the body. Good, take the reach over the top, in and down. Well done, keeping that going. So you get a nice stretch down your side as you reach over. Open that chest, stretch the side, back and down. There. Good, a few more times. That's it, we'll take one more each way. Last one. That's it, over you go. Back to centre and down. Okay, we're going to start getting your legs involved. So we're coming into the angel movement. 
So we're going to start with those arms wide, a little lean back, sweep forwards and open. A little bend of the knees as we come forwards. Really loosen out all of that body. Excellent, keep it up. Really open out, a little lean back if you want. Extra stretch. Nice smooth movement. That's it. Good, a few more. Really good loosener. Gets the legs moving. That's it, two more. One more. And standing tall. Okay, so let your balance come back. Getting those feet set again, under hips. Standing tall. We're gonna go onto a leg sweep. So bringing that through, forwards and backwards. Doesn't need to be really high. So it's just enough to disrupt your balance. The aim is to stand as tall and still as we can. Excellent, keeping that going. Looks like a couple more people just joined us. Morning everybody. Sweeping that leg through. That's it, two more. And bring that down, reset yourself, change legs. Let's reset that balance, sweeping through. Compare the two sides. Do your balance easier on this leg or on the first one? So a little balance exercises like this are really good to do. So when you're in the kitchen, wait for the kettle to boil. Or if you're standing brushing your teeth, bit of a challenge there, stand on one leg. That's it, all that work just helps the balance, keeps you nice and strong. Help reduce those falls as we get older. That's it, a few more. one more and down resetting yourself again onto the other leg we're going to take that sweep out and across so that's it out to the side and across the standing leg again keep standing as tall as we can keeping that tummy drawn in that core engaged Really good, a few more times. Set. Good, one more. And reset and change legs. Again, give yourself that comparison between the two. Looks like stronger, which one are you all balanced on? For all of the balance moves, if you do need a little bit of help or support, use a chair, a bit of furniture, the wall, anything like that. But aim to gradually reduce how much you rely on it. That's it. Really good. A few more times. Excellent. One more. And bringing that down. Okay, reset yourself again now. Feet back under those hips. 
we're going to go into your squat. So we're starting with a standard Pilates squat. So we're coming down, back up. Knees travelling over the feet, bum sticks out behind. So we're squatting that down. Down to that 90 degrees if we can, a little bit less if that's where you need to be. So if you just want to squat to there, absolutely fine. 90 degrees if we can. Really good, keeping that going. That's it. That's it a few more times. Gonna change it up a little bit with the squat this morning. Good, two more. And bringing that back up. Okay, if you just go over, stand at the end of your mat with your feet together, we're gonna do a traveling squat. So we're gonna start feet together, we're going to take a step as we squat down, together as we come up, step as we squat, together and wide, together, tap, squat, together, squat, together, squat and tap. So keep that pattern going. So it's three squats as we travel. Brilliant, keep that going. So you should be traveling about the length of your mat for the three squats. Excellent, a few more. Good, one more each way on the mat. So let's travel back. And bring it back together there. Okay, standing tall, feet set under those hips again. Take hands high. We're gonna roll it down, curling that back. Down towards your feet, unrolling up, reaching high, keeping that going as we curl down towards our feet, unrolling, stacking the vertebra, take it up. So remember, you can always soften those knees if you need to protect your back and your hamstrings. Helping now, loosening out that back. We're reaching a bit further down. If you're getting to your shins, can you touch your ankles? If you're touching your ankles, are we on the toes now? That's it. Good, a few more. Next time we'll stop at the bottom and sweep around those feet. So it's hands down, semicircle around your feet. It and unroll back up. We'll do that one more time. Bringing that down. Curl down. Let it hang. Heavy hands, heavy head. 
sweep round those feet. That's it, a few more. And unroll up. Good. One more time. This one, we're going to put hands down and walk it forwards. Taking it out. Holding that straight arm plank. That's good. Holding there. And down to your knees. Sit back on your heels. Stretching that child's pose. Okay, good. So we're going to be starting on our fronts. We're going to be in the kneeling box position. So I've just dropped the screens. Okay, we're starting down in that basic kneeling box. We're going to be doing your standard Superman to begin with. And then we're going to add an extension in. So down we go, kneeling box, and off we go, just extend it along, back in, and change. That's it. Keeping that going, concentrate on keeping that back nice and level. Hips and shoulders are flat. Making sure we don't twist as we extend. And we try not to take that leg too high. If you can see yourself on screen, it's always a good one. You can just keep a check on where that leg is. Doesn't matter if it goes up a little bit past horizontal. We just don't want it pointing to the sky. That's it. Spine extends through into the neck, nice and straight and long. That's it, a few more. Good. One more each side. And bring that down. Just take a couple of seconds, release the wrists, ease those out. So we're going to go back into that position again. This time as we do the Superman, we're going to reach our arm round and try and find our toe. So we're going to extend. Keeping the back level, we're going to try and find that toe, back and in. We're going to reach, touch, reach and in. Keeping that back flat. Excellent. Keep that moving. We've got to reach to the toe, back straight, and in. A few more times. Good. One more each side. Back down and give that a little rest. Sit up. 
ease those wrists out. Okay, so we're staying in that starting position of your kneeling box. And we're going to do a thread the needle, but with a modification on it. So instead of the whole hand reaching under, we're going to touch our temple and we're going to take the elbow under, elbow high. So you keep touching that temple, staying in that kneeling box, take it under and up. That's it. Good, keeping that moving. Good, two more. And let's change sides. A little stretch in between if you need. Back down, touch the temple. Bring it under and up. Excellent, a few more. Take two more, one more, and back down, take a little rest. Good, well done. <clears throat> so one more exercise on our front in the same position. We're going to go into that knee hover, so we're just going to lift those knees about an inch off the ground. We're going to hold. First time round we'll just hold, second time we're going to add an extra little movement. So when we're ready, hands down, knees under hips, toes on the mat, and lift. We'll hold. That's it, keeping it there. Hold. And three. Two, one, take it down. Well done. Okay, this time what we're going to do is lift, but once we lift, we're going to sit back onto our heels, come back up, back onto the heels, back up. We'll do that a few times, lower it down and rest. Okay, if you do find that too difficult, stick with the basic movement. Remember, you can always go backwards on the progression. Are we ready? Let's lift it up, hold, sit back, into that hold. Keeping the knees off the ground all the time. Two more. And lower that down, well done. Okay, one more different variation this time. We're gonna go into the knee hover, maybe hold a fraction higher, so maybe a couple of inches off the ground. And I want you to try and just pulse up and down a tiny amount. Again, if you find that too difficult, stick with your basic movement. So hands down, get yourselves ready. And we'll lift, 
on that pulse. Keep that going. Excellent, well done, a few more. And rest down, well done. Really good, have a little stretch if you need, child's pose, or ease those wrists out, whatever you feel you need. Moving on to our sides now. So I'm gonna lay, extend it out on our side, arm under your head, resting on your hip bone, legs long and straight, hand in front for balance, try to draw your waist away from the mat, lift those legs just off the ground if we can, and we're going to start with your scissors, taking that forwards and back. It's a nice steady movement of those legs, keeping it controlled, keeping those hips stacked, pivoting on your hip bone. Now, so we're trying to keep as light a hold on that finger as we can to work on the balance at the same time. Nice steady movement, so not too fast. Doesn't have to be a really wide scissor movement either. Ah, so keeping that going. Good, a couple more. And rest it down. Okay, stay in this position. So we're resting down, hips are still stacked, one on top of the other, hand in front for balance if we need. We're going to go into a single leg lift, but we'll just do a few, and then we're going to add in that knee drop to the front. So raise the legs off the ground if you can. Single leg lift. a couple more and I'm going to add that knee drop in between so this time as we lift we drop up and down lift drop lift and down that's it good well done A couple more. Last one. And resting that down. Okay, just want you to bend your knees a little bit and come up onto one elbow. So we're resting down. So from here, we're going to go into a side plank, but with the top leg extended straight. So we're going to raise those hips up, extend that leg straight, then arm comes up so we've got a straight line from your fingertips down to your toes that's it and see if you can bring that elbow to your knee if you're struggling with that you can do this exercise laid down on the mat if you do find it's hurting the elbow or the shoulder keeping it controlled Nice and steady, so we extend straight in between, that straight line from fingers to toes. Really good. Just a few more. Excellent, one more. Bring it together. Extend, and let's lower that down. Okay, flip yourselves around, or roll over, whichever way you're setting. You're gonna start with those scissors. So extend the arm under the head. Nice, long, straight legs. 
Hand in front for balance if we need. Raise the feet. And we'll scissor those legs. Excellent, keeping that moving now. That's a nice and controlled. We pivot on that hip, keeping your hips stacked, one on top of the other. A few more. That's it. One more. And bringing that down. Take that little rest if you need. <clears throat> Stay in the same position to start. You're going to raise that those feet. Single leg lift. Good. A few more. And then we'll go into that knee drop. So there we go, let's add it in. There, so it's lift, drop, lift, and down. Keeping your hips stacked, trying not to roll forwards or back as we do this one. Excellent, keep that going. A few more. Do one more. And resting that down, good. So we'll bend those knees up again, bringing it to that elbow. So I'm gonna take it to that side plank, we'll extend the leg, top arm comes over the head, gonna hold, and then it's elbow to knee. And long and straight, straight line from fingertip to toes. It. brilliant keeping that going so slow controlled movement holding in that side plank position really good two more and resting that down well done okay we're going to move over onto our backs now. So I just want you to roll over. We're going to lay down, but with knees bent up. So lay back, knees bent, head back, hands point to the ceiling. So we're going to start just with the leg slide. So one leg extends, comes back in, change legs. Double arm drop. So both arms go, come up. One leg, both arms. So as we breathe in, we're going to breathe in as we drop, breathe out as we come back. Uh, 
That's it. Really good. Keeping that going. times that light just skims along the ground or hovers just a fraction off the floor. That's it. Good. One more each leg. And bring that in. Give those knees a little hoe if you need a little stretch. Okay, staying on our backs, gonna lay back, bring feet up to tabletop. So you've got a 90 degree at hip, 90 degree bend at knees, arms come up, bend at the elbow. So we're doing a single knee drop, so that knee drops out, the other one stays still, bring it up, drop to the other side. So just a single leg movement in a minute. Again with the breathing, breathe in as it drops down, breathe out as it comes up. Good, once we've got that leg movement, we're gonna add the arms, so it's opposite arm that drops down. So left leg, right arm, drops out to the side in that pec deck movement. Nice and controlled, keeping that back nice and flat on the floor. Try not to let that arch get too big in the lower spine. Some people's backs will stay flat on the floor, others will naturally have a little arch and a gap. Just try to feel that it stays the same, it's not overextended at any time. Keep that core engaged, control it. it. Keep that 90 degree bend at hip and at knee. Really good. A few more times. Good. One more to each side. And relax that down. Okay. So next one, we're going to stay laid down again with those knees bent. So as we lay back, I want you to extend one leg towards the ceiling. Straight up if you can, but if not, don't worry if it's pointing forwards. Hands go behind your head. We're going to reach up, probably to somewhere around your shin, and then try and walk a bit higher. Walk back, relax back, change legs. You're going to change legs between each one. So we extend the leg before we reach up. Lower it down as we go back. Up, reach, walk, down, back. Really good, keeping that going. Few more times.
Good, one more on each leg. Last one. And relax that down. Okay, so laying back, extend the legs straight. Arms around behind the head. It's your last exercise. We're gonna roll ourselves up so those hands come over. Lift the head when you see the hands, tuck the chin. Curl yourself up and towards those toes. Slowly unrolling back. And over we go. That's it, taking it back. Good, a few more. We try and keep it all one movement. So we're unrolling, curling that back, one vertebra at a time down onto the mat. Back up, arms come over, head lifts, chin tucks, shoulders roll. Bring ourselves up and towards the toes. Taking it back. Good, two more. Roll that back. Last one, stay sitting up. Reach for those toes. Good, and hold. Stretching those hamstrings. That's it, relax. Bring one foot across the opposite knee. We'll turn to the side. That's it. Change legs. Turning the other way. Relax that down. Bring your feet together, bringing them in. Knees drop out. So just let them drop out or use your elbows if you want to take them slightly further. Good. Just relax slowly back up to your feet. I'm just going to move my screen up. So we're back up on our feet. Put one foot back, back leg straight, front knee bends, hands together. Reach out. Keep the legs where they are, reach up. And round the back. Okay, relax, change legs. Opposite foot goes back, front knee bends, hands together, reach forwards. And reach up. And round the back. That's good, relax there. Back round facing the front, feet nice and wide. Let's lower that down, take that squat through, reach up high. One more time, down low, sweep up onto those toes. Reach for the sky for three, two, one, and relax there. Well done, everybody. Thank you.